on uh, to our uh, session. We are very glad to share our knowledge with you. And uh, thank you to the organizer for the for the event festive tech calendar. This is a uh, uh, event organized by the community for the community, which is amazing. It's it's great to share the knowledge all together and grow um, in together with the community. So with me there is today and Federico, and it's a very pleasure to share the the session uh, with him. And I hi Federico. Hello, everybody. I, let's spend to a couple of words about ourselves. We are not spend a lot. Uh, it's better to focus on the on the topic. We are here to share our knowledge about Microsoft Viva connections and give you some tip that maybe can be helpful for your uh, scenario and uh, use cases. And we want to stay also in the Christmas uh, in the Christmas style and. Uh, and and spirit so for that reason we are going to show you cool demos all right as i said a few words about myself i am giuliano de luca i am a solutions architect microsoft 365 mvp uh, for six years right now and i love to share my knowledge in uh, my youtube channel this video is hosted on my youtube channel so feel free to uh, search for uh, useful uh, content. I hope you can find something very useful. And now I will give the stage to Federico. Thank you, Giuliano. Thanks a lot. I'm uh, really happy uh, to be here. And um, my, my name is Federico Porceddu. I am a solution architect from Avanad, Italy. I'm already a Microsoft MVP uh, in M365 uh, category for the last uh, three years. And uh, there is a, a blog and uh, about myself and all that, all the contribution uh, for the community. So you, you can access this blog at, at the end of this uh, session. Uh, let's start our session. Um, the title of the session is uh, SharePoint Framework Christmas. Uh, so we talk about uh, SharePoint and Viva Connection and how to elevate all the magic in your digital workplace. Uh, let's go to see the agenda. Here we are. Uh, so uh, there is a quick introduction about Microsoft Viva and uh, Viva Connection uh, and the Viva Connection experience. Then there are two demos, uh, one about uh, Viva Connection dashboard and uh, then an introduction about Viva Connection Card and a demo in, uh, about how to create a SharePoint Framework Adaptive Card extension uh, with uh, Viva Connection Toolkit uh, for a magic Christmas. Let's go forward to the next slide. And let's talk about Viva Connection. Viva Connection is uh, the home for the daily experience. Uh, and it is a tool, um, a product provided by Microsoft uh, that is fully integrated with Microsoft 365, SharePoint, and Teams. It is a tool of other ap applications. It's an application of uh, other application from Microsoft about uh, Microsoft Viva. In particular way, uh, there are um, application related to the communication, application related to uh, the engagement of people like Viva Engage, for instance. And, uh, uh, but in this session, we talk about uh, Viva Connection. Uh, Viva Connection provides uh, tools and application, uh, resources, and uh, uh, focus for the, um, um, for the news and every feed that arrive in, in the internet. So starting with the tools application, you can create a dashboard uh, for your uh, um, for the people of your organization, and in this dashboard you can put some cards. We see in our demo uh, in a, a deep dive about the dashboard. Uh, then uh, there are uh, resources. Resources are intended by uh, navigation. Okay, so with resources, uh, the people of your organization uh, can access quickly and easily. Uh, to the uh, all the link, all the resources uh, of the um, of the internet. Uh, finally, there are 
uh, some web parts, in particular uh, the web parts about um, feeds. And with feeds, you see uh, news and contents uh, uh, generated by uh, users, editors, and uh, aggregated by uh, the AI provided by Microsoft. Let's go forward to the next slide and see how to set up the Viva Connection. Um, Viva Connection, uh, the, the basic experience is included in uh, licenses from uh, um, uh, uh, MTC5. So depending on your license, you can have the Viva Connection experience, uh, advanced or the basic. And first of all, you need to set up uh, the, the experience and create a new experience. Uh, the second step is assign permission uh, because uh, at least two owners uh, need to be uh, um, configured uh, in order to uh, edit the, exper the experience in Teams. Uh, the step number three is related to the audience. So you can configure uh, which group should be associated with each experience and then decide the order because you can um, uh, create a different experience. You can decide the order uh, of, uh, of that will, will be uh, applied to the home page of Microsoft Viva in Teams. And in this way, you can choose uh, the default option. Uh, the last step is the enable, the ship to production uh, of the dashboard. And in this way, uh, the dashboard will be enabled for uh, the people of your organization, depending on the audience. Okay, uh, Giuliano, take the stage and uh, if you want to uh, talk about uh, platform and uh, endpoints for Viva Connection. Thank you, Federico, for your uh, overview about Viva Connections, how to get started and how to set up Viva Connections. We will see uh, deeper, more uh, info about Viva Connections. First of all, let's start to clarify a bit more uh, the target of Viva Connections. As Federico mentioned, this is a employee experience that empowered the way how the employee is connected with the organization. This means that Viva Connections is everywhere, so every user can reach this dashboard across a smartphone, across a desktop or a laptop or a tablet. It doesn't really matter. But in the end, Viva Connections is an app integrated in Teams. Why Teams? Because we use Teams every day and a good approach is always ask if something could be integrated directly in Teams because, of course, you have the great benefit that you are using always the same tool and you don't need to switch across browser tabs and becoming crazy and feel the, have the feeling that you are lost. With Viva Connections, you are always in Teams and you are always able to follow the navigation of your SharePoint home site. It's uh, strongly connected with the home site because Viva Connections, the idea of Viva Connections is to, uh, to have always one entry point where every user can reach easily an information, a resource, or a service, for example. As I mentioned before, Viva Connections is reachable everywhere in, uh, in a mobile device or in a desktop device. And uh, it's in this image we can see Viva Connections dashboard plays it on the right. This is the dashboard. It's um, it's um, host basically several cards, and these cards are technically called adaptive cards. So here you can drop and place whatever card you want. So you can build your card as a hand user without having a, a no tech skill but you can also build your custom adaptive card. So you can uh, involve your uh, developer team, development team, for example, and build your own uh, adaptive card and build uh, a service that trigger directly from this, from this dashboard. So this is uh, very important. So it's very flexible and you can build this dashboard as you want. Another important aspect to consider is that this dashboard can be chameleontic, let's say. So if you are 
in the the part in the HR department, for example, you can build a, a dedicated dashboard for the HR department where you have maybe different cards. And uh, instead, if you work in the IT, maybe you can have other things to trigger uh, IT admin services, just to mention a typical use case. Now, in this nice image, you can see what I mentioned at the, the beginning, so that Viva Connections and the home site of the SharePoint site that I remember you, but I want to refresh also my memory, is the top site collection. It should be the top site collection of your uh, SharePoint uh, tenant. They are strongly connected because Viva Connections and the, uh, the home site share something. To be more precise, it is Viva Connections that shows the news that every editor post on the home site share the navigation. So this is another important and focal aspect because when you navigate through the Viva Connections dashboard, because this is one of the possibility that you have, and I show you in a bit, you have always the ability to go back or navigate through every navigation option that you have. It's fully integrated in Microsoft 365, of course, and uh, it offer a great flexibility. In fact, there is a tool chain that you can use as a developer if you want to extend Viva Connections and build your uh, custom adaptive cards. Then we have audience targeting. This is another important aspect for every organization because the audience targeting allows you to set specific peoples or groups that are allowed to see a specific adaptive card. So let's say that I want to create a specific adaptive card useful for the HR only, the HR department only. So I can use the adaptive card to specify the HR group, for example, the, that involves all HR employees in the organization. So I'm totally sure that this card will appear in the in the dashboard if I am an HR employee. Then we have the ability to create our, our apps and a demo. Uh, we will see a demo later by Federico, very cool. And the last one is permission. So you can, you have always the classic SharePoint permission, which allows editor to edit the content, add new content, or just viewer, for example, which are potentially all employees in the organization. All right, let's move now with the next slide and let's see something that it's now called old. It's not really old, but this is the initial layout of Viva Connections shared in Teams. So Viva Connections is an app available in Microsoft Teams. In this image, you can see that the, the app is placed on top on the left rail of the navigation of Teams. This is also another nice approach and best practice. So you should place Viva Connections at the very top of your left rail navigation because this should be the first entry for every user. It should be absolutely easy for the user to get in. So this is the old layout. Now Microsoft has refreshed the layout and it works also as a entry level and first page for Microsoft Viva. This means that in the new dashboard, you can see all Viva modules that are enabled and turned on in your organization. Now, Let's move to the demo environment of my machine and let me show you the, the dashboard in action. So I'm going now to share my screen and I'm going to show you my environment. So here I have my demo tenant of my Microsoft 365 subscription. And as you can imagine and see, I am in Microsoft Teams. At the very top, I place it Viva Connections. Now, when I click on Viva Connections, I can see this view, this dashboard. This is, is the new layout, which differ from the slide that we have seen before. I have on top news. I have this slider, which will allow me to navigate 
and check all news available in Viva Connections. Then down below, I have the dashboard. So this is the, the area where adaptive cards are placed. If I scroll at the very bottom, I have two additional sections. The first one is the resources. This is slightly changed. At the beginning, that was the navigation of the home site. Now, Microsoft as a new addition has basically decoupled from the global navigation resources. It means that here I can add my custom link. Let's say that I need to cover a different use case and scenario where I want to have a section which is not um, connected with the global navigation. It means that I want to maybe place some uh, custom link for just one month and the month later I want to have another link or I want to have more links. Just to just to show you the global navigation, if I click again on the app Viva Connections, I can see now the global navigation of the SharePoint home site. I have the home, which allow me to go back to the home page. I have other navigation items like grow your career and under grow your career, you have other elements of the navigation, university, frontline workers, manager, engineers, and so on. So this is the global navigation. Moreover, you have this other section called the resources, which are extra link. Now, I would like to show you another cool thing. So I'm showing you now my smartphone. I'm opening Microsoft Teams and I'm now opening the app called Contoso, which is Viva Connections. And now I'm displaying the Viva Connections dashboard. We have the three main pillars mentioned by Federico, dashboard, feed and resources. And here I can see exactly the dashboard, how it's built in the desktop. So I have the first one, which is the today's menu. I have this other one, which is Ace My Notification. I have the people. This is a new adaptive card. And then I have additional cards like organization news, HR news, highlighted news. So I can also tap on see all. And then here, let's say that I want to read this news. I can tap on it and then I can see this news. So directly in my hand, I can stay connected with my organization. I can read my news. And then I have at the, at the bottom, the ability to interact with this content I can like. I can add a comment, for example, here, let's be original by writing test and then sending this. And then I can share this content with another colleague per chat, for example, and I can save this news to read uh, to read it later. Maybe now I have no, not enough time, so then I can at any time read this news later. Finally, let's go on feed. And here I have all news available in Viva Connections. This is a special section where I can see boosted news on top. In fact, you can see this boosted text on top of this Microsoft Look Get Started news because this is absolutely important. I have another boosted news. This, this boosted news are placed on top of this stack of news. And then I have normal news added below. And finally, I have resources, which is exactly the global navigation available in the home site of SharePoint. So here I can navigate through my internet, basically. Tapping on the three dots, here I can see about. On the feed, I can see another um, thing is in the, the dashboard. So tapping here when I am in the dashboard, tapping on the ellipsis button, I can customize the dashboard because I am an admin. And then I have view announcements. This is another important section added recently by Microsoft. So 
if the organization has a super critical news um, for all employees, this is the area that um, the editor should use to highlight an important uh, announcement. All right, we have seen how it works in the mobile. Now let's see in practice what we can do on the on the desktop uh, version of Viva Connections. Here, always directly from Teams, I can edit this area, so this dashboard. But before to do it, let me show you also this other uh, capability that you have by clicking on the ellipsis button. Here you can refresh the dashboard. You can see announcements. We will see later. I can change the look because I am, uh, uh, in this case, an editor. I can uh, modify the theme, for example, let's go with this one, which is more uh, in, in the Christmas spirit. And now I can see that color are changed in uh, red. And moreover, I have view analytics. I can manage permission and I can switch experience. What means changing experience? In the Viva dashboard, in the Viva Connections dashboard, you can have multiple dashboards. This is a new addition again. And at the beginning, there was only one dashboard available in the home site. But now I can create additional dashboard. Let's say that I want to have a dashboard only for the HR communication site or another dashboard for the IT. So this is now possible. I can have multiple dashboard and I can navigate here across all dashboard. I can click here, for example. I can click on switch and now what I'm going to see is a different dashboard from the previous one. So let me switch again experience and let me go on the first one, which is my home dashboard. OK, let's see now how we can change the dashboard. So if I click here on edit, I, I am dropped and I land on the SharePoint uh, page of the Viva Connections dashboard. The Viva Connections dashboard is basically a normal SharePoint page called dashboard.aspx that you can find under site pages inside content. This is my dashboard. I can see that I added many uh, cards here. So there is this one, which um, let's see the preview, for example. This is another functionality you can emulate users here so you can say i am now a member of the it department so if you click here <clears throat> the dashboard will show cars that are aimed only for the it guys let's say that now i am a normal guy i want to see uh, the normal uh, viva connections dashboard i can change the preview i can switch across mobile and desktop if I go with the desktop uh, version, I can see now the functionality of every card. <clears throat> I have notification here. I can search my colleagues, for example, in this uh, people adaptive card at the events. I can see the, the name, the role in the company of my colleague. I can see additional information. I can start a chat directly in Teams with the elements. I can send an email. I can call directly Adele. This is this all capabilities are available directly here in Viva Connections. Then, moreover, I have uh, other cards to see all news available in Viva Connections. I can see benefit, cafe. Uh, I can see my paycheck or pay slip. I can navigate through the months. This is just to give you an idea how you can structure your uh, Viva Connections dashboard. You can see the team calendar. You can see your time off, for example, um, how many days you <clears throat> you were sick, uh, how many days you booked holidays, and so on. These are all things that you can do in the Viva Connections dashboard. And uh, and then just to just to stay in the in the spirit of Christmas and the calendar, which is the the topic of this uh, of this conference. I added here um, a card called My Calendar Plan. This is a card that show me my upcoming events. So for today, 
it means that I can see all my meetings here and I have here uh, an event, SPFX Christmas, I can click on it and this dropped me directly in the calendar of Outlook, opening my event. So I can directly join from there, this meeting, but this is just a use case. And what is behind this card? It's a call made towards the Graph API to get all my upcoming events. Nothing of very uh, difficult, it's not a rocket sign. Uh, and you can find all the uh, documented stuff and things on the web. It's a solution uh, available on uh, PMP. You can find uh, more information more information about that. What I would like to highlight of this card in the code is um, something uh, very common. Uh, it's the when we consume or use the Graph API. So <clears throat> what I would like to show you is just this call of the Microsoft Graph API, me, mailboxes, settings, take the time zone of my current user, and then I have just this call <clears throat> through the Microsoft Graph API, me, events, and basically I'm able to get all upcoming events from the, the date that I specify or from the range that I specify. That's it. This is, uh, it's not a rocket sign, it's pretty uh, simple. And the uh, last thing that I would like to highlight here is the ability to <clears throat> create multiple dashboards. This is recently added by Microsoft. If I go in the um, admin center of, let me find the right tab. <clears throat> All right, here I am. So when you are in the Microsoft 365 admin center in the search, you can type uh, Viva Connections and you will land at the end on this page this is the link you land on this page and here as admin you have the ability to create multiple dashboard so you have the first one which is integrated and full integrated in the home site of your sharepoint site and then you have the ability to create additional uh, dashboard for your intranet the very last thing uh, is in the home site, let me go now on the home site <clears throat> where I have my dashboard. The very last thing is the if you click on the new button, you can create announcement. And when you click an announcement, let me just add a one. Uh, let's say that this is available for the IT. And let's click on uh, next and then send announcement. Now, <clears throat> I'm uh, creating this announcement. This will be sent as a push notification in the Teams mobile app and it will appear on top of your dashboard. So this is pretty important and relevant for your uh, communication department. For example, if you want to highlight um, important uh, news to, to the end user. So from my side, from a demo, uh, perspective, I would say this is enough. This is the announcement that I created just before it appeared on top. So I can click on it and uh, open this announcement. I would say that uh, we can close this demo and we can go back to the presentation. I'm going to share again the presentation so Federico can move with the next slides. Mm. Thanks, Giuliano. Really, really cool demo. Uh, really awesome uh, feature. Um, the last are uh, be really useful for wish everybody Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all people from the organization. Great. Okay, let's see together how do cards work. Uh, we see in the demo by Giuliano cards, but I like to focus with uh, about. Uh, uh, two feature of the cards, two main feature. We have uh, the, um, the, the the dashboard we see in the demo, and we have the quick view. The quick view, uh, in this case, in the slide, uh, in the mobile experience, uh, is uh, uh, the, um, the the view that uh, um, we can use uh, for uh, um, show. Uh, information uh, and uh, uh, give to the user uh, an interaction with the business logic. Okay, 
um, directly in the card. And uh, after that, we can go uh, to maybe we, we can create a link and we can go to the uh, app of the timesheet in this case. Okay. So we, we can improve our experience and give in the quick view a lot of information without access to the app directly. Okay. So we can do integration. Yeah. Uh, let's go uh, forward to the next slide and see together uh, three models of card acquisition. Uh, if you are an editor of Eva Connection, you can add card, uh, you can add some default card uh, that Microsoft provided for everybody. Um, in, this, in this way, you can manage, you can organize your dashboard. Uh, the second model of uh, card acquisition is the SharePoint Store. SharePoint Store contains a lot of solutions. Uh, some solutions are free, some solutions are by payment. Uh, by the way, you can install from the SharePoint Store, if it is enabling your tenant, uh, the cards that are in the store. So there is a specific session in the store, and you can add from um, this, uh, this store. Uh, the, the last model of a card acquisition is um, uh, the custom model. So you can create, and we see how to uh, custom card in order to integrate your um, business data, your application inside your card. And uh, uh, there is uh, the app catalog because we can use the SharePoint framework to do this. And uh, in this way, we, you can create your custom experience. Let's go forward and see three models of implementation of uh, cards. Uh, the first one is no code because there are two, uh, two cards. Uh, one is web link, uh, the other is uh, uh, the, oops, let's go back to the slide because, okay. Uh, there is the web link. Uh, a web link could be uh, absolutely a card, an easy, easy card, but at the same time are really useful because you can go, you can, um, give to the user the um, possibility to uh, navigate to an application. The second is the Teams app uh, card, and uh, you can configure a card uh, using uh, a link from a Teams app. Uh, we see that uh, Viva Connection dashboard works uh, very well inside Teams, so in this way, you, the user can navigate inside, directly inside the app uh, stay inside the Microsoft Teams. The second way is the low code because there is a card named the card designer. You can uh, use the card designer uh, in order to create your custom card without uh, uh, write custom code, ma, uh, but, but only uh, configure this uh, card. Uh, you can select a template, you can select this card size, uh, you can select the card action and use obviously a template JSON because adapt, um, Adaptive Card Extension uh, use the Adaptive Card model. So in this way, uh, just creating a JSON uh, or an Adaptive Card, you can create your custom um, card for Viva Connection Dashboard. Um, the last method, the last model of implementation is the ProDev, and we see together we can use the SharePoint framework based on uh, TypeScript, Node.js, and uh, the, all the features provided by Microsoft in the SharePoint framework in order to create uh, uh, cards. And if you want, uh, call Microsoft Graph or call your API in a secure mode because everything is running inside Microsoft 365. Let's go forward to the next slide and see this, uh, this model, the ProDev Leverage SharePoint Framework. Uh, in, with this model, we can create cards using the uh, extensibility model of SharePoint, the SharePoint Framework. Uh, so you can also associate to an existing web part a relative uh, ACE. Okay, so you can create your web part and, and an adaptive card in the same package. In this way, when you install in your site a web part, you already have the card. Uh, obviously, is uh, everything is perfectly integrated in Microsoft SE5, so you have the shipping context, you can 
call uh, graph, uh, you can call uh, your uh, backend, uh, you can manage uh, uh, everything that you can do in web, but you can already do in cards. Uh, really, really interesting this, uh, this approach. And um, personally, I appreciate a lot this uh, kind of extension. Let's go together and see uh, Viva Connection Toolkit. What is Viva Connection Toolkit? Uh, Viva Connection Toolkit is uh, an extension for Visual Studio Code, and it is an abstraction layer on top of SharePoint Framework, Human Generator, and the CLI from Microsoft 365. Uh, with this toolkit, um, all operation and action are performed uh, usually on a command line level. Uh, but using with this tool, we can use a uh, user interface uh, and uh, we can configure our environment settings in our uh, virtual machine or our development environment. And this way, our experience of develop development will be absolutely powerful. Take your mind that this uh, solution provided by the um, PMP uh, team, okay? So it is a, um, um, a solution from the community. Uh, and so if you want, you can contribute and help this project to grow. Uh, let's see together uh, the demo about uh, Viva Connection Toolkit and how to create uh, ACES, a lofty card extension uh, with SharePoint Framework, obviously with, uh, um, uh, with a focus uh, uh, for the Christmas. Let me share my screen. And we see we see the Visual Studio Code. In uh, this Visual Studio Code, uh, I install uh, the Viva Connection Toolkit. And let's deep dive uh, the experience that is the welcome experience. So the welcome experience, uh, we can create a new project. And we have a lot of links about the SharePoint Framework sample, and you can create every kind of extension for SharePoint Framework, including Adaptive Card extension. You can uh, navigate Adaptive Card by scenario, so there are a lot of sample, or uh, um, sample directly with uh, code and uh, uh, comments from the community. It is really, really powerful and cool for start developing, but, but not only. You can already check dependency from your environment and verify that everything is well configured in order to develop uh, um, uh, ACES or a SharePoint Framework solution. And you can already install dependency if uh, you uh, don't have installed. Okay, it is a, a great feature that helps a lot to configure our environment. Uh, this is the welcome experience, and let's go to see together uh, an experience related to uh, an existing solution. So if I open, um, if I create a project with uh, um, Viva Connection Toolkit, I can use, uh, I can use this uh, extension for existing solution too. Uh, so uh, what I can do is uh, uh, configure my account and I have uh, uh, some task uh, that I can uh, run in order to clean project or serve or package or create a bundle project, etc. And uh, if maybe some people uh, prefer this approach uh, instead of the command line. Uh, there are already a lot of other action uh, related to the update, update of the SharePoint framework. So if you want to upgrade your project that use an old version or on a not a recent version of SharePoint Framework, you can do this through this action. It is really useful and powerful. You can already grant API permission if you use Microsoft Graph, and you can de deploy directly from this interface, the SharePoint, the, the SPP PKG uh, file, that is the package uh, result of the build and, uh, and, and the package of the, um, of the of a SharePoint frame solution. It's really useful in the bug in development mode because uh, we, uh, in this way, uh, just with a click, uh, we deploy and ship our solution in our environment. Uh, maybe it's not uh, sug suggested in a production environment, okay, but in development environment, it helps a lot. 
great. There are already a lot of uh, link if, and um, about documentation, sample solution gallery, the wiki, the Microsoft TC5 developer program, the where developer program where you where you can create a tenant for development. Great. So let, let's go to see together a solution that uh, a really really easy solution, but easy but uh, really funny. I, I think because with this solution, I uh, add in a adaptive card extension a feature that uh, can help us to uh, create a good experience for our uh, user in our tenant uh, for uh, um, the Christmas. Uh, I integrate in our solution this uh, solution, React Snowfall, and uh, this Snowfall uh, creates the snow in your SharePoint page if uh, you we add if I add this uh, component in our adaptive card. So what I did is absolutely npm install of this uh, component. Okay, it's really really easy, and uh, I modify my quick view in order to add a button. Okay, and in this button I uh, include my component, and the component is the uh, Snow TSX, and in the Snowfall uh, Snow TSX that is included in a render, the Snowfall with the configuration. So the the color of the snow the style uh, of the background, and the snowflake count that I put in uh, 2,000. Uh, so what is the result? I can go uh, to my dashboard, okay? Viva Connection dashboard, and maybe I can already change uh, other things in my, uh, in my this site uh, in order to uh, do it more Christmas ready. And uh, starting from my Viva Connection dashboard, I can edit my dashboard and add a card that is uh, uh, Christmas Snow. And uh, in this uh, Adapti Card Extension, after I republish my, uh, my dashboard, there is the Quick View action. And in the Quick View action, there is the Let Us Know button. And if I click Let Us Know, magic it starts no okay it's really easy what what i did is just implement an action on the button okay uh, and in this uh, action on action it is related at, uh, to our template json that is here so what i did is uh, add to the, our uh, card an action submit and a button and the t title of the button is in fact, let us know. And after that, when the button do button two will be um, selected, uh, it it render this uh, component and uh, everything is full array. Let's go back to the slide, uh, Giuliano, please, so we can uh, close and wrap up our session. All right, I'm presenting again. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you, cool demo, Federico. We are Thank you, Giuliano. perfectly in the in the Christmas spirit with the yeah. that is no function. So let's wrap up this uh, this session. Thank you to, to the organizer of this uh, conference. It was a very nice pleasure to be here and sharing our knowledge uh, with all of you. And feel free to reach us out if you have questions about uh, Viva Connections, uh, Teams, SharePoint, or any other Microsoft 365 topics. But just to stay in the in the session, if you have a um, question, uh, feel free to, to reach us out on LinkedIn, uh, on Twitter, where, where you want. And we, here we dropped some uh, useful links with Federico about the topic of this session. If you want to go deeper on this topic and uh, at the bottom, you can uh, see some uh, of few links to stay connected and closer to, to us if you, if you want. All right, again, uh, we wish you a very nice Christmas to you and all your family. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I hope to see yeah. you soon. Thank you, Giuliano. Thank you, everybody. Uh, let me wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to the people watching this session. 
to all members of the community, to all MVP friends from around the world, Marcos from Germany and from Italy. I'd like to mention Giuseppe, Emanuele, and last but not least, Fabio. I care about you, Fabio, you know. Best wishes to everyone, including me and Giuliano, uh, to all of you in the community for a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.